I decided to get into solar technology right after I finished my PhD uh, because I firmly believe that this is a technology that can solve two most important problems, namely energy and environment. And having grown up in, in a country like India, I have seen what the lack of electricity or, or the lack of quality of electricity can do to the standard of living. I think solar power is a gift from the sun because solar energy is unlimited, free and not localized in any part of the world. Solar cells are an ideal candidate to tap this enormous resource of sunlight because they can convert the solar energy into electricity with zero emission and no undesirable impact on the environment. When I came to Georgia Tech in 1985, I started a program in photovoltaics from scratch. In 1992, we became the only university that can conduct research all the way from materials to system in silicon, on silicon materials. And as a result of that, Department of Energy decided to make us the first university center of excellence in photovoltaics. The mission of this center is to conduct high caliber research and education and also do extensive industry collaboration to give United States a competitive edge in this field. In 2006, uh, NEA, the VC, one of the top-notch VC firm in the United States, came and talked to me and asked me that since I had been helping all these companies uh, to do a better job of making low-cost, high-efficiency cells, how about starting a company? The company spun out of Georgia Tech's University Center of Excellence for Photovoltaics, which was established in 1992. And uh, I was not quite ready for that because I wanted to start a company after I achieved a milestone of greater than 20% efficient cells. Dr. Ajit Rohaki, Rohaki, who's one of the top solar scientists in the world, his work at USAP enabled us to get a very quick start at Ceneva. But they convinced me that you don't have to wait before you get to 20% because I was already making cells which were about 18% screen printed solar cells, which were better than what most of the industry was doing. So the company formed in August of 2007 with an investment from uh, New Enterprise Associates and HIG Ventures. And with that capital and with the research and with the patents that we licensed from Georgia Tech, in a year's time, we've been able to get up and running in manufacturing with the best crystalline solar cells in the world. USEP capabilities, they complement Saniva capabilities. And it was by design. So what makes Ceneva different from other solar cell manufacturers are our research capabilities at Georgia Tech. This enables us to have access to tens of millions of dollars in research equipment, models, and capabilities that other companies in the world just don't have access to. Uh, number two, we've developed one of the best and put together one of the best teams both on the research side and on the manufacturing side. Number three, if you look at our execution and getting up and running in the short time frame that we did, this team has demonstrated that it executes extremely well. Ceneva positions itself at the intersection of high efficiency and low cost. We believe that to be high efficiency with high manufacturing costs in a market where lowering cost on a consistent basis is important, that's not the right approach. And by the same token, we believe that just low cost with no technology and low efficiency doesn't make sense, that it's the intersection of these two concepts that lead to the biggest market opportunity, and that is high efficiency while maintaining low manufacturing costs. 
We believe the future is very bright for the company because of our positioning, because we are uh, positioned as a high efficiency, low cost manufacturer, we have lots of customer demand and lots of customer interest. So the future looks very bright for Ceneva and assuming that the capital markets become favorable again, Ceneva will become a public company and we believe a very successful one.